It's Vlogmas day 18. welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jessica and for today's video i will be showing you all how to get this old hollywood red look for the holidays or any time of the year so if you guys are interested then just keep on watching hello so let's point out the obvious there's a lot of things around me but i think i did a pretty good job at like hiding everything so this is my ring light that i got for um christmas and i'll be doing a video talking about all of my presents that i received for christmas oh that's good so you guys can't look so you guys can no longer see it and then behind me is a fan because it's like it randomly got super hot like a few weeks ago and I was like dying like I had to open my window and I even saw like my dog Zoe like she was just so hot and like she ended up going downstairs and like laying down on like our tile because um we have tile flooring um all of downstairs and so she was just like super hot and I was like Chaz you need to go get a fan or something from the grocery store because like we're dying of like how hot it is so downstairs we have like a super big fan and then in the master room as well but in this room right here um we don't have a fan or downstairs room as well so I definitely need to get one but we got a fan just for now and it's been doing the job and then after that day it really hasn't been like super hot so we're ready for summer though Oh, God bless you, Zoe. She just needs. All right, so this is definitely going to be like a holiday glam. But of course, you guys can wear this makeup whenever. This makeup reminds me of like Selena. You know how she would always rock her red lips? Super pretty. But I'm going to start off with my foundation. I already moisturized and prepped my skin. And I'm going in with this Dior Forever Foundation. You guys know the deal with this foundation. I finally, after this long, like, know how to work with it. But I hate this foundation for makeup brushes for my skin. None of them have worked out for me. So the best way to use this foundation that I found is with a beauty sponge. And mine is from Morphe. And then I am in the shade 025. Oh, and it has SPF 35. I didn't even know that. All right, so yeah, I use this foundation. I got it at Sephora. Let me know in the comments what makeup store is your favorite. I prefer Ulta just because the return policy is amazing. As opposed to Sephora that you only have 30 days to return an item and get your money back. And then an extra 30 days after that to get store credit and then after that you like you can't even re return it or anything like that and i love ulta because it doesn't matter how long it's been you'll always get at least store credit but yeah that's why i kept it because i took way too long to return it and to exchange as well so i ended up having to keep it and i was like well if i'm gonna keep an expensive foundation might as well use it but yeah, I remember I went like back three times to like change the shade and I just did not like it at all. But it's what I have right now and it's what I'm working with. So use whatever foundation you have. But for Christmas, I love wearing red. I love the bright red color. And I think I would like to have a little bit more confidence to wear like a bold red lip color for my lips like selena did back in the day but for sure for the holidays you'll always see me wearing red lipstick okay that looks good and i like to do another pump so i do two pumps my first layer and then for my second layer i only do one pump and i use the other side that is still clean to do the second and last Oh, yeah. 
And there's the foundation. And I personally like to leave it on at least five minutes to let it sit and then go in with my powder to set the foundation. So while I wait, we can get into these eyelashes. For a red lip, I think that a neutral eye is the best. So if I was do putting on eyeshadow and doing natural um, eye look, I would definitely use this palette or like these similar colors are so pretty. And this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 Eyeshadow Palette. This is the one that I would recommend you guys use. Or just like any shades of eyeshadow that you guys have like that. Yeah, the reason I don't use eyeshadows is because I really desperately need a eyeshadow primer because I've tried using concealer that doesn't work and the eyeshadow primers that I do have always crease on me. So definitely in the lookout for a new eyeshadow primer. So if you guys have any recommendations, let your girl know. And plus, I have a super busy day today. So yeah, if I even wear um, eyeshadow, I know that it's going to really irritate my eyes and don't really want that for today especially if you're doing like this look like before work or before school or before like running errands and you're like running out the door um during this time of like waiting for five minutes you guys can like do your hair put on deodorant put on your spray like body spray lotion up things like that so you know we can be productive with our time especially like during the holidays if you still have christmas shopping to do all that good stuff all right, our five minutes is up and now it's time for powder. So I used the same beauty sponge that I was using and I use this powder that has still, that I still have. I swear these powders are great because they last forever and it's by Pretty Volker and it is the Powder Room 147 Matte About You. I got this back when I had my subscription for BoxyCharm and I mean it's been like over two years you guys and I'm finally like hitting pan oh my bad did I spit on you guys sorry um, but yeah this powder is amazing so I literally just dump my beauty powder on there and then go in am I the only person you guys have seen that doesn't bake <laughs> too much I don't know I, I've never really been into that like baking thing for my face because I don't know I just don't really like the dusty look or like super fierce edges I just like to powder my face because I'm super oily but that's about it and you can of course use a very fluffy brush or even your foundation brush I'm sure will work perfect but for me, I really like using the same sponge as my foundation. I feel like it absorbs better into my skin as opposed to like the whole powder like flying everywhere off my face, you know? Okay, and that is all for the face makeup. And while I wait for that to set, I already go ahead and start off with the eyes. So I love this eyelash curler, which is by Lancome. I literally stole it from my mom and I ended up buying a second one that I always keep in my car just in case of an emergency, a makeup emergency. And I finally got a new mascara. I love this one which is by Maybelline and I get the 411 Very Black and it's also waterproof so I love that. I have two eyelashes that are literally like pointing towards that way for this eye. But I think you guys get the point for mascara. So I definitely love this. I don't think you need to spend a lot of money, especially on mascara, when you can get the same results for at a more affordable price. So I definitely recommend drugstore mascaras. And this one is my favorite. Okay, so now I go in with bronzer. And I'm going to be using the MAC 168 s brush and we'll be using the shiseido 3 dark force bronzer and then for highlight i will be going in with the morphe and jacqueline hill jh 
07 highlighting brush and for highlight I'll be using the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette. It's discontinued, you can no longer get it, but I will be using Champagne Pop, which now um, Smashbox carries it. And now the last product is this lipstick, which is by L'Oreal, and it is 297 Red Passion. And when I saw the color on the sticker, I was like, that's too dark. But when I opened it, I was like, yes, that is the perfect like bright red color. So let's go in. There it is. I would have loved to have this shade of red back when I was in high school because I was in flags. I did color guard and we always needed like a red um, lipstick color and I had like this one really awful red one that was like not moisturizing at all. It would crack on me so definitely like that the lipstick game for red lipstick is definitely stepping up. So yeah, super pretty, very comfortable on the lips, and yeah, I really like this red color. So I recommend it. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and do my hair, and then I'll be right back for the final look. Don't worry, I have a video coming up very soon on how I do my low bun. So yeah, I'll be right back, you guys. All right, so this is my final look with my low bun. I hope you guys can see that okay so i hope that you guys liked it and remember you can add eyeshadow to this look you can add lip gloss lip liner whatever you guys like whatever shade of red you like just remember that makeup has absolutely no rules you can do whatever you want with makeup and yeah i hope that you guys loved it i would love to see your recreated look so definitely tag me in them and yeah happy holidays you guys and of course you guys can wear this look and red lip any time of the year hopefully i can get the confidence to rock this red look anywhere and any day we should do that as a trend right all right so thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel hit the bell so that you're notified every single time i upload a new video give this video a thumbs up so that i know that you enjoyed it and leave me a comment down below letting me know what's your favorite red lipstick so i can definitely check it out and i will see you all in my next video bye everyone